up guys, Mr. Tool Chris here with my girlfriend Hannah. Today I've got the results in. We're gonna see just exactly who the hell am I. I know I'm Irish, half Irish, half English, but there's obviously more to me than that. And without further ado, we're gonna find out together. We're gonna go on a journey to myself to see who I am. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm quite nervous. Looking forward to it at the same time. So let's go. <sighs> Not gonna lie, I did have a sneak peek, but all I saw was my English and Irish is in the same category apparently. Um, ancestry, five ports, carries the most people. Genetic health risk, nine. Nine reports. Nine Doesn't reports mean I have nine, nine health risks. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to go one thing at a time, so we're going to go with the Ancestry yeah. first, guys. Be interested in Ancestry. Okay. Right. Your DNA suggests your Ancestry is... Yeah, this is the only part I saw, guys. 55% British and Irish in the same it's category. Time. No, it's not. No. Irish and British, two different two. things. Yeah, it's like not. saying... It's like saying Greek and Turkish. Yeah, it's the mm. same. Yeah, they're, they're the same. No, it's the same. Yeah. Greek and Turkish, it's all the same. No, it's not. Right, so let's go with this first. There's a lot to this, so this might be a memory video. 100%. Yeah, 100% me, no? Okay, yeah. I am 100%. Yeah, obviously, you're 100% human. Right, I'm 99.8 European. European. Okay. 55.5% British and Irish, which is located in the country. Well, you already knew. Okay. Wow. What? I'm not surprised, <laughs> because your mum is quarter Jewish, and you've got a bit of Jewish in you. No, my mum's half. She's half Jewish, she said. Yeah, so that's right. So, you're right, you're quarter Jewish. You, oh, that, wow. Well, that, when we move I, out, we, we obviously know where we're moving out, so we're going to be going to yourself. my relatives <laughs> in Stanford Hill. And I'm... 1.8 Liberian. Okay. What's that? Liberian. Um, I can't know what it is. I know it's a country in, um, oh, I forgot where, but I, I've heard of Liberian. I want to know what that is. I've never heard of that. Oh, Liberian oh, it's, is oh, it shows me. Okay. Liberian. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wait. Liberian ancestry was influenced by several Mediterranean civilizations today. This ancestry is common to people of Latin American descent. Right. So you're part of Latin America. That's actually quite interesting. Yeah. I can't wait to see one. Yeah, guys, my girlfriend has done hers as well, but that won't be on video. Scandinavian. If you guys want to see my girlfriend's results, give us 50 plus likes and we'll do it. But yes, 1.3% Scandinavian. Scandinavians are much of their linguistic. Linguistic and the genetic heritage to medieval North Germanic tribes wow. who established settlements around the North Sea. Okay. That's sick. Alright. I'm 9.6 broadly so northwest European. European. So that That's quite a high percentage. Northwest Europeans are represented by people from as far as Islands, yeah, so mm. I already knew that. As far as Norway, as far east as Finland, as far south as France, these countries rim the North and Atlantic, Baltic, I don't know, sea, and have been connected throughout much of history by those waters. Broadly, Northwestern European DNA matches several specific populations that cannot be assigned to just one. Mm -hmm. These shared heritage may be the results of assigned no, extensive migration, possibly. possibly including the dramatic invasions of the early Middle Age. Okay, that makes sense. Wow, that's sick. 1.1% right. 1. 1 worldly mm -hmm. southern of European. Southern Europe, including the Liberian, it oh I, I don't know if Italian, okay, Italian and. Yeah, it depends on you know kind of Italian language. Balkan, P 
Panasunas, as well as the island of Malta. Oh, okay. I, I know some of those guys as well. It's a region defined in great part of Mediterranean Sea. The Mediterranean has provided transportation routes. People in these regions connected currently and genetically. Broadly, broadly, whatever the word is, Southern Europe DNA matches several specific populations and it's difficult again to assign just one. And then 2% broadly European. Much of Europe was buried under miles of ice 10,000 years ago as glaciers reduced over millennia. Neophatic farmers? From Western Asia, joined these are some big words. Pay, 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 pay all the fatic hunter gatherers to settle Europe. <gasps> some European DNA is difficult to assign mm -hmm. confidently to one population and receives a Brody. Oh, uh, that's what Brody means, okay. So I, I'm a bit subtracting the other thing. Oh, you can show him his stuff. Yeah, I'm what? 0.1% Chinese? <laughs> Come on! Well done. You and the Asian side. I'm joking. Just. This way is why I like anime and Chinese food. Exactly, you love your pork noodles, chicken ramen. Uh, From expensive plains of Central Asia to the islands of Eastern Indonesia, the people of China and Southwest Asia are share genetic similarities dating back to the arrival of humans in the region over 40,000 years ago. I can't pronounce this word. Broadly, broadly, whatever the word is, Chinese and Southwest Asian DNA, likely driven in part of spread of algae culture within the last few thousand years, matches several specific populations. And it's difficult again to assign just one. So that's is that all of it then? Yeah. See all, all tested, tested populations. So there's more. Okay. You see? How are you liking match? Okay. You have not identified more specific locations at your recent ancestors. So it tested for all of them as well, but yeah. mostly, mostly come up. So it tested for every single country in the world, but mostly come up. So if I know this, ah, okay. So I'm not trying. So You're not trying to China for Taiwan. Ah, the zero point one is male. This is very interesting. Mm. Right, so let's go to the top. Just this gives you more in depth, I think. So highly like it, actually. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Thank I you. Don't it put it in the same category. Yeah. Thank you. That's what I get over the fact I'm 1.8. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Jewish, I'm not as close to that. My mum's half, yeah. so yeah. Right, so. That's that. That's my ancestry, I think. No one else knew that much, though, didn't they? Just have a meal to see my relatives. Simple as that. I don't care. <laughs> right, uh, yeah, It wasn't back. able to find any of my relatives. Mm -hmm. They are 71% less likely to have lived near a farm. Less likely. Okay. My mum wasn't born in a farm, my dad wasn't born in a farm, so yeah, 43% no, of your relatives have. Heads up, I think I was mostly like born in a farm because I used to live in the countryside, but now I live in the city side, so it's all for a city. Hold on, learn about, there's so much to this, what's yours? Okay, it's quite cool. Okay, that's not really telling me anything, that's no, the zero, is it? You don't know ancestry, don't you? No, no, there's more. There's more ancestry. Nathan no. Nathan We've identified two hundred and seventy two genetic variants that can be traced to the number Nathan Nathan Ancient humans who 
interbred with modern humans before going extinct 40,000 years ago. Be your report. Because basically we all came from that. Okay. You have 272. 272 Nathaniel's. This is less than 55% of 23 of me customers. What can I say? I'm 100% Chris. <laughs> exactly. You have fewer. Nathaniel's. However, your. Your. Whatever the word is, mm -hmm. ancestry accounts for less than four percent of your overall DNA. Uh, so I don't have much of it done. Learn more about how to interpret this result. Why not? I'll stand by. This report tells you. Uh -huh. Okay. Maternal Hano. <coughs> Sorry about that. Hanapadruk. Your Hanapadruk is shared with Ozil? Oh, still? Ozil. Ozil. The Iceman traces the long line of women in your family. Okay. Iceman? What? I don't know. Christopher, your maternal. Hana group is K one A three A. That's that's gibberish to me. I think. As our ancestors virtued out of Eastern Africa, they breached off in diverse groups that crossed recrossed the globe over tens of thousands of years ago. Some of their migration can be traced through Hana groups, families of nine mm -hmm. ages that descended from a common mm -hmm. ancestor. Your maternal Hanapa group, sorry if I'm saying it wrong, can reveal the path followed by the women of your maternal nine. Is this for me or will this be more, like, more relevant for you? Hanapa group uh, what? Oh. oh, and every person living today could trace his, okay, so it's not just girls, his or her maternal nine back over thousands of generations ago. All of our nines would meet at a single woman who lived in Eastern Africa between 15,000, oh no, 150,000 mm. and 200,000 years ago. Though she was one of perhaps thousands of women alive at the time, only the diverse branches of her Hanapa group have survived today. The story of your maternal nine begins with her. Mm. Okay. And then we go to L3. Your branch of L is Hanapa group L3, which arose from a woman who likely lived in Eastern Africa between 60,000 and 70,000 years ago. While many of her descendants remained in Africa, one small group ventured east across the Red Sea likely across the narrow Bab el Mandeb into the trip of the Arabian Pen Pen Penesia Penesia um, The story then continues with the Hanapa group L one of two branches that arose from L3 in southwestern Asia Researchers have not debated whether they arrived there via Sianal, Penisadia, or made the hop across the Red Sea at Banap el Mandap through their exact routes are now distributed. There is no doubt that the women of Hanaka Group L migrated across all of Erusia given rise to new branches from Portugal to Polynesia. You read the next one. One of those branches is Hanagra Group R, which traces back to a woman who lived soon after the migration out of Africa. She likely lived in Southwest Asia. 
perhaps the Arabian penetration and her descendants lived and migrated alongside members of Hanaga group L. And on the way, R gave rise to a number of branches that are um, like major Hanaga groups in their own right. Now you read the next one, please. I need okay. a drink. Hanapo group U was the one of the earliest offshoots of R, and traces back to a woman who lived nearly 50,000 years ago. Over time, her descendants have migrated into Europe, parts of Asia, and even back into Africa, giving rise, giving rise to numerous branches spanning the three continents. Hanapu, Hanapu, Ham, upper Ham, group Kate. Your maternal line story continues to Ham, group K, which is actually a branch of Ham, group U8. K traces back to a woman who lived in the Middle East less than 30,000 years ago. Since then, her descendants have migrated in all directions and can be found throughout Europe, Northern Africa, the Arabian Peninsula, and into and to the East in Central Asia. So you followed all that, guys? <laughs> Just Hopefully, because the... I'm a bit dismissed. Oh my god, there's how many? There's right, K1A. Okay, there's only a few more. My god. I'm very unique, guys. <laughs> there's yeah, only no, one. There's only one. Chris Matos. <laughs> Your maternal line stems from a branch of Hanaka Group K called K1A. K1A is a widespread Hanaka group that traces back to a woman who lived nearly 20,000 years ago, right around the time of the last great peak of the Ice Age. Okay. As the Ice Age gradually loosened its grasp on the golden. Ah, ah, Global climate. In the next several millennia, K1A expanded. In the Middle East, women carrying the Hanaka group later spread the, into Europe as well. With early waves of migration that carried farmers, the new agricultural lifestyles in the West during the Neo. Neo there you go, Neophytic Revolution. Ah, revolution, my so many big words. Today, members of K1A can be found throughout the Middle East and Europe. Can I just say, I don't think people want, don't want to hear us read it out. I think they just want to like, pause the video, read it from themselves, go on to the next one, read it from themselves. I mean, I think it will be easier for us and either easier for the millions of people. I so I don't know why we should read every single Because word. I don't care, I'm going to read it for myself. Yeah, you can do that later. Uh, I'm just Off camera. Look, we're nearly finished now I anyway. don't care, we can just do this and the others, please don't read it because I will I am. Some of them might not be able to read. Some of our viewers could be blind. I don't get... Well, what, if they're blind, then why are they watching this video? Because they, their helpers have told them to, maybe that's why. <laughs> so there you go, and they might not... I, for, speaking for myself, I wouldn't be bothered to read all this. I'd rather listen to the YouTuber to say it to me. Mm. Anyway. Well, that's my opinion. Yeah, well, your opinion is stupid. No, it's not. <laughs> your maternal Hanaka group, K1A3A, traces back to a woman who lived approximately 9,000 years ago. That's nearly 360 generations ago. <laughs> what happened between then and now? As researchers, and citizen scientists to discover more about your Hanukkah group. New details may be added to the story of your maternal line. K1A3A, relatively common among 23 and me customers. Oh, it's uncommon. Oh. Today, you share your Hanukkah group with all maternal line descendants of the common ancestor. K one A three A including other twenty three and me customers. One in five hundred and 
say. So they say comes first chat, yo. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I'm not doing all this. But, uh, okay, so I'm very scientifically challenged with this. Oh my god, that was only a summary. Da, 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 da. Oh, that's like a chart. So I started from what was it L? There's obviously a U in the middle. Well, I'm not a scientist, so that's all gibberish to me. <laughs> I can't wait to read the health ones. <laughs> well, I think I'm perfectly healthy. But okay, right, okay. so that's the ancestry done. I think let's just double check. There was only five reports, so I've done the reports. I don't have any relatives that use this, I've done that. I've done a Hanukkah group or whatever. Or did I? No, I've done that one, but not this one. View your parental one. Which one you have? Oh, <laughs> now I have RZ16294. I'm not going to read all this, I'm just going to quickly stoke through it. Oh my goodness gracious me. <laughs> no, fuck it then, that's all. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Forget that. Yeah, it's too cool. Right, next steps. DNA. DNA basis. This tutorial introduces you to some key concepts in the good. genetics. Okay, so there's only two more. Okay. Wait, tutorial. Ah, we don't need to do that. Mm -hmm. Right, that's my ancestry. Next one. Carry status. Status, status. 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 Now, whether you have specific genetic variants that may not affect your health but could affect your children's health. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yes, I still look. If you see carrier not detected for a carrier status report, it means you are not a carrier of the tested variant. Okay. But keep in mind while our carrier status reports cover many variants, they don't include all possible variants associated with each condition. So it's still possible to be a character of a variant not included in our test. Okay. Right, so one thing at a time. What's this? A R S A C S. A genesis of Cropus Canarusium. Very. Help me here. Yours, help, wait, wait, wait. Which this one you? here? A genesis of the Corpus Calinus. Calinus. It sounds like something you shout in a Harry Potter movie. <laughs> Yeah. Any Genesis Corpus Canalusium <laughs> What the You know what? open up Google and, <laughs> and literally research these words because these are foreign words. Right. <laughs> Control C Control V Neuro Oh Neuro is probably to do with your um, brain. Yeah, right. Yeah, I knew. And uh, man syndrome is a disorder that damages the nerves. In your brain. Oof, I'm glad I don't have that again. Yeah. Not suspected. Yeah, but it could be in your future child's. Oh, come on. Sorry. If I doubt it. No one in my family Sorry, has ever child. had anything like that. My. My nan had a stroke, but I wouldn't class that in the same category. No, that's not. Different. People can have different types of strokes. And then what's this top one? Auto something. What? It's a progressive disease that affects the body's ability to create protein called saskin. Normally found in. I don't think anyone in my family's had that, so yeah, I should be fine. I'm a kids. Auto somal. Oh, kidney disease. Shut up. Oh. Beta. That's told to do with blood, I think. Hemoglobin. Uh, so, yeah. Blue syndrome. syndrome. Okay, that's new to me. What the heck is that? 
Blooms in there. Yeah, of course. Ah, go away. Oh. Right, let's do the Citron. You had it then. This is all very interesting. I don't care how long this video is. <laughs> if you guys are still here, then fair play to you guys. Yeah. You obviously care about who I am and where I come from. Well, you could do it for yourselves if you want to. I mean, you would have me. to have about 160 quid on you. Or oh, 55 pound off right or, now for Black Friday. Exactly for a sandwich. And we're not we're not sponsored by the way, so we're doing that out of our own yeah. courtesy. Yeah. It is a rare auto suffering disorder characterized by short stature. I'm not such a such. I, basically, it, it, you're a midget. I'm not a midget. Kinda. Caravan disease. <laughs> I don't even have a caravan. Caravan disease, I'm sorry. What, what is that? Like happened? Benefit Street? You're, just, you're born poor and you have to get a caravan or what? Caravan disease. It's a progressive phase of neurological, neurological yeah, disorder. Well, this is all related to neurological disorder. That disorders. begins in fancy. It is caused by an inherited genetic of oh, abnormality. The lack of essential enzyme, I've heard of that, causes deterioration of the white matter may in the, brain, the brain, thereby preventing the proper transmission. Of nerve signal. But yeah, there's another nerve problem. Yeah. I've never. If you guys have heard of any of these, fair Cystic fiberosis is to do with your lungs. I don't have that for sure. So it is. What's this? I have no idea. I can't really? bother to look up. No, it's not that interesting. Protein deficiency, nah. Dio. Dio. <laughs> Di. Dio. 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 Po Poe Matthias. <laughs> what the heck? Right, let's search that up. Yep. Right. Wow, they're literally testing every single bloody disease on here. It's worth the money, guys, honestly. Yeah, it's worth 160 quid or 55 quid. But, me being stupid, I pay 160 quid, not 55. So, you've got to take a chance. And, guys. If you are staying to watch all this, we're doing the research for you, research <laughs> so you don't have to. Mm. After, but of course, and it's to do with women. Yeah, me. That's probably related. To ah, I don't, I'm not gonna have whatever the hell that is. I've no idea what that is. Ah. Uh, Oh, Caravan disease, sorry, that's just... <laughs> I've never heard of that, honestly. <laughs> it's a genetic disorder that affects the development and survival of certain nerve cells against... Yeah. I'm guessing that's to do with what I've just looked up. Yeah, anemia. Fan... 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 Oh, he had that. In Not fact, you... Yeah, the anemia, I think that will come up most likely for me. I'm probably in the middle of my life, unfortunately. Right, what's this one? Yeah. I think if someone looked at me, they'd be like, oh yeah, she's fine, she's okay, she, she's not ill. But obviously, looks are deceiving. <laughs> Is a severe the disorder, disorder that, that begins with birth. Begins the full birth. Like before birth. Stands oh, yeah. for the condition, characteristic features, growth. I don't know who that is. Early death. I don't have it for sure. Mm. Can't be bothered. Storage disease. The hell. Can't be bothered. Can't be bothered. I had it. Had I guess it's like that person told me. So I. Yeah. I don't have it. Not interested in that one. Lay syndrome, French ca Canadian type. <laughs> well, I definitely don't have that. I don't have. Is when your muscles are like this always. See, with mine, I told you. I bet you can't see, but my wrist looks normal there. But here, I have a bit of a, obviously a little pain wrist, so that's normal for me. So if you have muscle dystrophies like that constantly. Okay. Well, you know something, you guys. 
Maple syrup. <laughs> maple syrup. You just yeah, you got you got you got your maple syrup in you, but how is it the disease? I do not know. Wait, so what? You piss out maple it's like, syrup? Is that what it's saying? Yeah. <laughs> I should have looked at it. If I be, if I piss out maple syrup, I'll be going to Amy straight away. <laughs> I would. I'd be using it on my pancakes. I wouldn't be paying for nothing. <laughs> Love maple syrup. What the? First you get caravan disease and type then maple syrup. There you go. Okay, time will be. Yeah. Maple syrup. In the metabolic disorder handicap. Smell of affecting house. Oh, it means basically when you urine, your, sm- your urine smells really disgusting, not normal. Like if you urine, your smells like. Well, according to this, I don't have it, so shut the hell okay. up. Well, I know you want to it's just my bowels and malfunction. Mucosis type 5? No, type five. 6? Yeah, 6. Yeah. Neuro- neuro- positive, okay. Oh, I'm interested in this one. This, what is it? I'm surprised I don't have this. Yeah, obviously not. Probably that your child would have it. So no, no. My child would yeah, have it if it was detected. detected. Yeah, not. It's this, even seems that it was say very not detected. This still you won't have it, but your child will. They said if it's detected, there's a chance my could, kid could have, have it. it yeah. I don't know which because I do have hearing issues, so I'm surprised about that. No, just give them the DFM. The term is just telling me what deaf this is. I'm not deaf. <coughs> I'm surprised that they're dumb up. Hmm. Penny. Oh, whatever. Primary. Sickle sign it. Oh, sickle sign it. Well, what's that? That's. Um, I read about it, but it's kind of how you to um, understand if it's like something inside of you is affected and it goes wrong and it can like, affect your blood or something. Uh. It's really not possible. Usher syndrome. <laughs> Usher syndrome. Usher, Usher. Okay, that's it. Wow, that's interesting. Mm. So, uh, Carrier status. So that's that's the status. Genetic health risk we haven't done. Oh, well done. One step at a time. <sighs> that's the health one. Yeah, this is the one I'd be most worried about, to be honest. Right. Oh. No, I want to do the health. You know what? Yeah, let's see the tutorial because it's gonna keep it's annoying gonna me. Be I start tutorial. Some berries may increase the risk of developing certain health conditions. However, not everyone with a risk variant will develop these health conditions. For many of these conditions, people without a risk value can also develop them. Mm-hmm. Some variants are more common in certain ethnicities. Basically, nationalities. Yeah. The effect of variant on the risk health condition is often based studied in these nationalities. Mm-hmm. Since families share DNA, a family history, a condition can increase risk. If you have a variant, your family member may also have that variant. For certain conditions, genetics is one part of a person's total risk. Genetics, DNA, ethnicity, <laughs> other factors, environment, lifestyle. Yeah, of course, it all depends. Mm-hmm. You may be able to manage your risk for some conditions by managing other risk factors. Our tests do not diagnose any health conditions. No, but it probably tells you like what you could get if you, yeah, you're you not could, careful. Yeah, right, about our, our report, or uh, whatever, I just want to see if I'm dying or not. Okay, that's what it is. That was just about genetic health. Our reports do not. Ah, right. Okay, this one. 
Well, we'll find out what we we'll tell me. Complete a job. Ah. Oh. Oh. Cancer. Oh, okay. Cancer results when cells divide and grow in an uncontrolled way. This could be caused by DNA changes that occur by chance of a, as our cells divide. Over time, this is why everyone has and some risk, risk of developing cancer. cancer. Because you're going to learn something new as well. We already have cancer cells in us, but they are normal. They can easily turn horrible instantly. We could always have a normal cell, and then it can turn cancerous not like any time, any day, any year. But as the thing said earlier, I don't think that's just genetic. That no. could also be down to what you eat. Definitely. And stuff Diet, like that. your lifestyle. That. However, certain inherited genetic variants can also predispose cells to grow uncontrollably. These variants increase a person's risk of developing cancer and can be passed down through the families. So you've got the mum and dad, they've got three kids, only one kid has it. Yeah. Okay. If your report says you have a variant, it means you have an increased risk of developing certain cancers. Mm -hmm. Women with variants have greatly increased risk of developing breast o ovarian, and... Ovarian cancer, that's what my mum had unfortunately, ovarian cancer. That's the sign of killing them. They may also have increased risk of... Pancreatic... What? Pancreatic... Pancreatic cancer and I don't know. Uh, I think it's pancreatic. Men with these variants have an increased risk of developing also male breast cancer. Yeah. yeah, my barber had it. Mm -hmm. He's still alive though. They may also have an in increased risk of prostate, prostate cancer, cancer. Pancreatic cancer and also prostate. Mm. What my grandma had, but if still this if you have this kind of result, it is important to follow it up with a doctor of course, or a genetic cancer now. Mm. Since there may be <coughs> oh, penetrative seriously? options that are effective in reducing cancer risk, you should also think about sharing this information with your family members, hence that's why I had us here, since they <laughs> may also have the risk variants. No, Hannah won't have it. We're, we're not related. <laughs> no, we're definitely not related, but <laughs> me and our kid can have it, unfortunately. This report does not include all variants in the BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes. More than 1,000 variants in the BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes are known to increase cancer risk. This report only includes three of those variants. Mm -hmm. These three variants include this report are most common in people of Jewish descendant. Well, well, I've got a great start so <laughs> far. <laughs> oh, so already it's saying that yeah, you've got like a twenty eight percent chance of you getting this is what it's just saying. Yeah, twenty eight percent is quite low still. So you wouldn't have to worry. Yeah. <sighs> These, this report does not include the majority of variants people found in other nationalities. Other factors, yeah, this is what we were saying earlier. Age, environment, weight, lifestyle, behaviour, family history, variants, and other genes. It, uh, we would do probably the most of family history. Um, so yeah, of course. Some of these factors have small effects on cancer risk, and others can have a large effect. So it's like you said, this one will be the largest. Yeah, family issue. Your age, you can't be. No, stop it's just that. your age, yeah. It can, it can happen when you're really young. But I think the environment is also important. Yeah, the environment. If you're living in London, for instance, you, you've got so much pollution in the air, man. Yeah, it's ridiculous. So if you don't have one of the variants tested, you should still have a risk of developing cancer. Yeah, because of my environment or whatever. Mm. In fact, most cases of cancer are not caused by genetic variants. Really? A person could have a variant not included in this test, or could develop cancer due to other factors. A genetic cancer can help you understand 
how both genetic and non-genetic factors may influence your risk of developing cancer. It's normal to have questions or concerns about your results. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just can I see if I'm dying or not, please? Don't worry, it's a young to die. You do not have these. <sighs> there you go. You're gonna live. You're gonna live. Until I die. Zero. That's done. Literally couldn't beat them. Nah, I don't care. I'm just like, cool. Cool, cool. I'll read the rest later. Now you need to see what others. Yeah, that's one so, out like, of So, like, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, celiac disease, age related mas muscular. I don't know. You need to see the Alzheimer's one, though. Huh? Onset, onset Alzheimer's disease, that one. That's no, it isn't. Oh. Uh. Well, different. No, we didn't. We just done the cancer one. Yeah. Christopher, you do not have the value we tested. What's Alzheimer's again? Well, is you, that you like, who are you? You can use your memory and then uh, come back. It was like, it's a back and forth yo yo thing. If I had that, I'd, I'd just tell people to kill me. I wouldn't want to live like that. I'll look after you. No, 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 no. I, I, I wouldn't want to live, honestly. Might as well kill me. Like Parkinson's. What's that? Parkinson's disease. Um, it's hard to explain. I think it's to how your body performs. Muscle stiffness. Yeah, body performs. Problems with movement, factors in human yeah. genetics. Well, I'm whatever it is. I think I'm scared I might have that because I've always had muscle, let alone bone density and muscles. So I'm not surprised if that comes up in my t <laughs> Right, here we are. Here's one thing I could have. Increased Age risk. Related. What's that? I don't know. Slightly. <gasps> it's the bone. most common cause of Irreversible vision, vision loss. loss. Doesn't it explain, it explains about your eyes, doesn't it? Because if you've had problems with your eyes. Yeah, like dry eyes. Dry eyes, yeah. The disease results in damage to the central part of the retina. Right. So Impairing yeah. your vision needed for reading, mm -hmm. driving, or yeah. even recognising faces. faces. This test includes the two most common values associated. Just like you have both the generic values. Right, we're test. going to spec savers. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I've I've escaped the biggest one, which is cancer. And I'm happy about that. Yeah, but with the eyes one, we need to. Go I, to I, I can live with that. I went, I went to spectators. Thank God, they've obviously hopefully cured my vision and my glasses. But <laughs> I can live with that. Very detected. Is there like a link on there or not? No. No. To say surprise. Nah, to be honest, I can do with that. I'm ha if that's all I get when I'm older, I'm happy. Diagnosis? I'm happy. Slightly uh, celiac disease. What's that? What? What, what? I thought I had it. What, what is it? Hold on. It's going to say here, you don't need to celiac get your phone. Disease, right, okay. And there's only a slight. Auto you, immune immune consumption of gluten in your family. you might be gluten intolerant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but aren't you born with that? You're not gluten. You know, you're not born with gluten intolerant. Some people are not born gluten intolerant. Like with me, I well, might you just weak. might get it. At you some just point. might get it in your life later. Me, unfortunately, I got out to disease. Obviously, it turned out to be you see. You have to, you know, what you see what you use. Um, look it up on Google. Um, it's when if you eat some kind of wheat based or gluten based. Your stomach will become inflamed, you'll get bloatiness, uncomfortable, feeling sick. But with me, unfortunately, I have to stick with it until I die. FYI, however, mm -hmm. most people tested with this result do not develop it, so shut the hell up. Yeah, so you have to slightly increase so you, you, you know. Ah, this is. That explains why you know you keep getting sick after eating some things. That's only like recently. Right. Okay. So what's this? That one we looked at, didn't we? Oh yeah, we did. Yeah, we, we did. did look at that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So obviously we scroll down. Alpha one antibiotic deficiency. And in English, it is. A condition that could lead to non significant disease. disease. Okay, I don't have it. Again, that's good. Okay, Escaped yeah. another big one. Mm -hmm. If I only get new tolls to tolerate them, 
there's blindness. a bit of vision. That's fine. Yeah, I don't Did think it's blindness. It? it said vision loss, not blindness. No, vision fade. It's still pretty bright. What's this? No, like glucose. Yeah, it helps with the Well, I don't have that damage. anyway. Right, that's good. I, it's of African descent. But then mum would be slightly increased, slightly increased. <laughs> I hey my mum. Not me. Uh, <laughs> Maybe. I'll be surprised if I don't have any of them. Thermo. The heck? Is there something developing harmful blood clots? Oh, I've never had a blood clot. Oh, no, I've, unfortunately, I, I have had fucking injections in my stomach to prevent me having blood clots, so it's all good. <sighs> That's that trace. Oh, I'm happy. I'm so scared to see mine now. All I'm gonna eventually get maybe is through cross intolerant and a bit of vision loss. I can live with that. Those are things you can Asperger's do. Asperger's odor detection, likely can smell. Hold on. Ooh. Ability to match muscle pitch. Less likely to be able to match muscle pitch. What does that mean? What do you mean? Musical. What's musical Christopher, pitch? based on your genetics and other factors. You are less likely to be able to match a musical pitch. When you say you're saying I can't repeat after me, do me me. If you hear a musical note, can you sing it back? Do we do we me do we me? What's it saying? I can't sing. While matching pitch notes come naturally for some, it's almost impossible for others. Either way, genetics play a role in the ability to match a musical pitch. So it's politely saying you're born to not sing. <laughs> born to not sing, but I'll be pretty surprised if I'm born to sing. I mean, I'm scared to sing. Your brain and your voice in, in harmony. Oh. I'm not. A, I'm not a singer anyway. No. I don't care. I could be one, but I don't. Asperger's <laughs> odor detection. Likely can, can smell. <gasps> so, after eating Asperger's, some people. Oh, asparagus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's not Asperger's. Oh, now it, it, now it makes effect. sense. Asparagus. Some people notice an unfamiliar odor in their urine. Whether you can smell the asparagus after. Was it saying I can? Make you likely to be able to smell the. To be fair, I, don't, I haven't had that in a while, so no. next time I do a piss after eating asparagus, I'll be sure to have a sniff. Oh, right. Mm. Black hair. Light three, little upper black hair. Um, guys? What colour is my hair, please? Brown. <laughs> it's brown. Blonde. Yeah, but it's brown. It's got a dark colour. I mean, this is blonde. Look. Lovely, wavy. This is bronze. This is bronze. Our body is covered with. No, I've got me. I've got some hair on my arms. Our body is covered with about five million hair follicles, follicities, mm -hmm. which what types of hair they grow mm -hmm. and when they grow it is influenced by your genetics. <laughs> Christopher. The combination of your genetics and other factors make makes you likely, likely to have back little back or no back upper back hair. You've got forest on there. Yeah, on my neck. Uh, on that's my your neck. back. Yeah, but that's part of your back as well. It's it makes true. you likely to have little or no upper back. But, I but you have fucking upper back hair. You've got a forest growing there. You've got Bold spot, spot. Likely, likely no, bald. but wow, hello, yeah, but that's like part of your hairline. Well, that's I mean, on the actual hair to have your bald spot. No, yeah. no, look, look on this picture here. I have a bald spot there, yeah, but yeah. Ever noticed how some men lose hair at their temples, temples like here? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> If you go bold, genetics play a role. Oh yes, because my dad started going bold when, when he was in that picture there. He was in his 20s or 30s, I think. Yeah. 
Christopher, the determination of your genetics and other factors makes you unlikely to have. <laughs> you messed up there. I'm going bold for sure. I think they messed up there. Bitter taste. Likely to likely can't taste. I can't taste. Well bitter bitter food or bitter. Well we'll see see what it exactly means. Scientists believe that bitter taste sense developed to help animals detect toxins or poisons in food, but not everyone can taste the same things. The genetics make you unlikely to detect certain bitter tastes. I hate this advert. It always comes out near Christmas and I do not give a monkey's bum. Salvation Army. Don't, yeah. be, so, don't be so mean. Don't be, right, when my... No, they are homophobic pricks, I tell you the same. I do not care if, I, if this gets demonetised. My sister works for them. We do if it does. I don't care. The South Asian Army are homophobic pricks. I do not give a crap ass. End of. Because my sister used to work for them. And she saw... Alright, end of. End of them. End of them. End of them. <laughs> this, this is about me, not them. I oh, know, I know. Nike, no dimples. Oh, okay. Okay, let's get this demonetized. I'm speaking. The truth hurts. The truth hurts, done it, yeah. Bloody hurts. <laughs> Carry on. The hell is it? Slightly higher odds of disliking. Christopher, you have slightly higher odds of disliking whatever that word is based on your genetics. <laughs> Why would whatever that word is taste soapy? What? So what? <laughs> <laughs> you just get a soap and go. Hey. Um. Sure. <laughs> okay. Uh. Oops. Go back to my traits, please. Thank you. Cheek dimples. I've done that. Likely no dimples. Yeah. Uh, Cleft chin. Wait, what's that mean? The left and right halves of the lower jaw start out as two bones. The thing is, you have no chin. So, there you go. Then join in, join in infancy. But if you have a cleft chin, is that what you have? No, you don't have a no, cleft. No, I have a normal chin, but... Yeah. Your jawbone might still have a little gap in the middle. I don't have that sort of chin. Christopher, the combination of your genetics and other factors make you unlikely to have a cleft chin. Yeah, I don't. I don't even have a normal chin. No, of course you don't. I need that anyway. That's not world breaking news to me. Um, Eno type. Cleft chin, type. I don't have that. Detached, likely detached. Uh, no one knows why she must have been enough so all. Oh, yeah, but I don't have it. Likely to have detached. Stay right. Yeah. So what it says is, is I don't have any ear nodes. I know that anyway. Ooh, earwax type. Likely like, wear earwax wool. Not anymore. No, no. But I used to, yes. Likely eye colour, blue or green eyes. Ooh, got blue eyes. There you go. Let me see what it says there. Early shimmers had brown yeah. eyes, but at some point in history, a baby was born with genetic barriers leading to a strange new eye colour. Today, most night eyed people carry that same genetic variant. 52% oh. have blue eyes. Oh. That's mad. Fear of heights? Well, you're not going to be fear of heights, but I'm bloody fear of heights, but I've no, played more twice. I'm fucking terrified of heights. That's like the average to me. You know it's it. not that I'm scared of heights, it's that I'm scared of falling. I think that's yeah. the same with everybody. Yeah. Finger length ratio. Nike ring finger and under. What's my ring finger? The ring finger is... Yeah. This one. No, my longest finger is my fuck you finger. Yeah, that's the one. Palm read of the new. See, that's a ring finger for this one. Well, so I'd like to put my ring on this finger. I don't know. I think she'd like to have none of the ring fingers than the index finger. What's the index finger? Index finger. 
which is this, the one you played with. Uh, no, but this one is the same notes though. Yeah, just but I've got to admit, this one, this taller, is taller than this one. Can you see? Can you tell me? Can you tell me? This finger is the same as this one, but this one's taller than this one. Yeah. So I've probably got a finger defect or something. Well, cool. <laughs> freckles. No, it's only little freckles. I don't have any freckles. No, you just have. Actually, yeah, that actually scars. Hair photo bleaching. Hair photo bleaching. More likely to experience hair photo. The hell is that? <laughs> we'll soon find out. Chris mm -hmm. basically your night room with sun exposure. Oh, basically, when it's sunny, my hair gets more blonde. Yeah, oh, that's same true. with me. I think my hair will get more blonde. Yeah, that's true. But in the winter, it could get darker. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Hair texture might be straight or wavy. Uh, straight. Yeah. <laughs> hair thickness. Thick hair. Less likely. Less likely to have it. Yeah, less likely. Yeah, most thin. Yeah, most thin. Light or dark hair. Light, yes. Miss Throvedia. Average or of hating children. Oh, yes. I hate it. Oh, my God. Yeah, children's hand is like. Like, no, no, seriously, stop. Like that, yeah. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, I hate that sound, man. Mosquito might be, might be bitten more than up. Uh, no. I, don't, I don't think that actually I've ever been bitten by a mosquito. I remember one of them. Newborn hair. Mm. Likely little baby hair. I, just, I don't know. Newborn hair. Photos, sneeze reflex. Oh, likely no. What's that? Uh, likely no sneeze reflex. Basically, you get sneeze reflex. So you can get some air up your nose or some dust, and it help like go out your It or. could be a case of crossed wires with the brain. For some people, bright sunlight kicks off a rut. There's a hay fever. Something's on about. Yes, I have it. Mm. Makes it unlikely to have. I do. I have hay fever, if that's what it's saying. Or maybe just the sunlight. Maybe. Red hair? No. No. Wait, actually, Skin red hair is ginger hair, right? Yeah. Yeah, when I grew up my beard proper, I had a bit of red hair with me at that time. Yeah. So. Skin pigmentation. Like, likely lighter skin. Lighter skin. I don't have it, do I? Sweet versus salty. Might no, be prefer salty. No, nope, I prefer sweet. Sweet. If I got toe length ratio, might be big toe longer. Okay. Beauty bow, might be at least a little. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if I don't shave here, then yeah, I get a little bit, but nothing too bad. Oh, likely to wake up around 8.30 a.m. If I don't have mine on, yeah. So, right. Really, you, wake, you woke up about 10. Because I was tired today, that's why. No, on average. On average, I wake up around 9 anyway. So, they're right there. Wind, wind, what the hell? Windows week. Pointed hair lines. Originally, and the name with those big because they resemble the shape Victorian of Christopher Tupperley. Makes you unlikely to have. Oh, what, so, like I am? I have it, don't I? I think I have it. That's it, that's all my tricks. It's wellness now. Can you go back? The main page. Rats. People with your genetic result can typically process alcohol normally. As a result, they do not tend to flush like red in the face or experience unpleasant symptoms. Oh, basically you're saying after one drink I'm not going to get drunk. No, you never well, do. I'm 55% I'm Irish guy, so...
Go on. <laughs> what this means for you. While you're unlikely to become flash and bright red after one drink or less, you may still experience unpleasant symptoms. Like flashing if you drink too much in a short amount of time. That's because alcohol is broken down into toxic substances that may build up faster than it can be cleared out. Mm. Avoiding heavy alcohol consumption is important for your overall health, yeah, of course. Genetics and alcohol. What causes the. Ah, I don't care, man. That's all very interesting, but I don't care. <laughs> <coughs> sure. Cafe, cafe consumption. Likely to consume more. <laughs> I don't like caffeine. Likely to be a deep sleeper. Less likely to be, of course. Wait, really funny. I am a deep sleeper, aren't I? You can be light sleeper. I mean, you can literally wake up with. Um, I'm a, I'm a deep yeah. sleeper, I know that. It takes me a, a lot of effort to wake me up. Predisposed to wait more than average. Wow. So it's Ooh. basically the same, like, according to my genetics, I'm born to be fat. Aww. Christopher, be your fat genes predispose you to wait about 4% more than average. Because my yeah. dad's a, a, fat, a fat man, I'm going to be a fat man. It's only 4%, come on. Great. Lactose intolerance, likely tolerant. Yeah, I'm fine. Muscle con con consumption, common in the meat. Oh, hello. So, what they say, I'm buff. Oh, really? What's this flapping? What's this? Nothing. Christopher, your genetic muscle consumption is a common elite power athletes. Studies have found that almost all elite power athletes, including sprinters, throwers, and jumpers. Oh, so it's to do with the legs, I think, they're on about. Yeah, the legs are always important. Muscle consumption. You have the same genetic variant as these elite athletics. Mm. Oh, what does this mean for you? For most people, lifestyle and training factors drive athletic performance at the national and international levels of competition. The genetic variant in this report seems to make a difference in athletic success, but its role for non-athletics isn't completely understood. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Such a fat weight, likely single weight. Cool. Sleep movement, likely average or less movement. Can I say that? Well, can I move you a lot? No, you don't have one. Uh. Obviously, I think I do. I literally put on. Most nights I've even put wearing my sleep mask and I wake up with it off and I thought, how the hell did I take it off in my sleep? So obviously, I move. I think I guess I move a lot in my sleep. Research one in five questions answered. Everything is done. Well, guys, you, you've now found out more about me than I knew myself, but mm -hmm. some of it was a bit off, but most of it was surprising that I already knew as well. I would recommend you guys do this. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, as you guys can see here, this offer... Up to 55 pound of credit. So, tomorrow, tomorrow, in our... So it's, I don't know when this is going to be uploaded, but yeah, this offer ends at the 26th, guys, so do it, innit? If not, then you never know, you can always look up another sort of company that did it. Mm. I, thought, I thought it was interesting, to say the least. Definitely. So guys, this has been Mr. Cool Chris. Mm -hmm. Catch you guys in the next video.